Okay. Um, if you want to uh, work with images in PHP, at least using the functions uh, I show you, um, or at least most of the functions, um, you need to have the GD extension installed. Again, this is part of PHP, um, and some people's installations will have it by default, but other people's won't. Um, so you can check it uh, if you don't, if you absolutely aren't sure how to check it, you can just put this code in a PHP file up on your server and then browse to the name of that file. Here I've just called it version, php.info, and it will spit out this information all about your PHP, what's going on inside your PHP interpreter. And you go down to the GD extension here and you can see that it's in, whether it's enabled or not. Okay, on some cPanel accounts, on some cPanel accounts, for example, on GoDaddy, you can go down here and see if this is not checked. Right here, if it's not checked, you need to make sure it's checked and then you need to save it. Um, here, I'm using 5.6, right? Um, and now other um, hosting providers, when I look at what their cPanel shows, it doesn't give me quite as many detailed options for controlling my PHP interpreter. Um, but here, uh, this is one of my local Hong Kong hosting accounts. I just kept it at 5.6 and it worked no problem. So this may or may not be <clears throat> a problem for you, but this GD extension is important if, for example, you want to if you want to use, for example, this function, image create from JPEG, image create from ping, image create from GIF. Um, and so that's just one thing you need to remember. If you want to use image scale, image JPEG, all these things to manipulate an image, to get its size, to get its um, t the image type, uh, to change its quality, to reduce the file size, all these different things that you want to do with an image when you're working with PHP. Um, so that's sort of like a kicker there. You've got to make sure you've got that.